Hi, my name's Graham. Welcome to Rimmer's Music, The Piano People. And today I've got the pleasure of showing you the latest Yamaha CLP875. <laughs> Just showing you there just a quick demonstration of some of the features that you can get within the instrument so I'll just talk you through it now first of all it is a beautiful piece of furniture it's available in different finishes this is a, a black finish with a lovely grain in it like a satin black but you can also get it in polished ebony in rosewood in white and also white birch which is like an off-white sort of color it's got beautiful curved edges beautiful curved edge on the pull out lid that it's got there as well which is absolutely fabulous great legs fantastic chrome logo with big yamaha there and chrome pedals lovely big music rest as well so you can have lots of sheets there if you want to do it like that but it plays absolutely great now you can play it independently on its own it has a little touch screen at the sound at the side here it looks a bit like a mobile phone and basically you can pick all your sounds from there and you have 38 to choose from with 220 watts of power to push out and give you a beautiful sound so not only does it give you volume if you want it but you get quality sound at lower volumes now the default when you first switch it on is a Yamaha CFX Concert Grand. That's the very best piano that Yamaha produce. It's about 150,000 pounds. And it's in here with all the resonances, all sampled and everything, and a brand new Grand Touch keyboard that feels absolutely fabulous. <laughs> or an Android device as well. Now you may have noticed that I touched that at the beginning and had a bit of a drum beat going because you get a metronome built in which you can have uh, ticking away uh, like so or you can pick drum beats and when you pick a drum beat what it actually does it gives you the beat like that which you can speed up and slow down but when you press a chord down decide if you want them to continue or not and it gives you a little one by intro and a little ended but you can decide whether you want those or not so they're great little add-on features that you can use to play with but let's go back to the sounds that's the CFX concert grand piano let's pick a Borsendorfer Imperial and this sounds like this <laughs> To demonstrate that, I'll just eat some notes at the top. And what you'll hear if I press the sustain pedal down, it's like it's released all the dampers off the strings and other strings resonate in sympathetic resonance. I hope you can hear it.
can hear that noise resonating all over. Now different combinations of notes will give you different resonances. And it, it, it just does it beautifully. I can't explain it. It just feels absolutely fabulous. And the Grand Touch keyboard is so responsive. It's brilliant. <laughs> sounds to choose from as I said, loads of different pianos like a rock grand or we can lay his voices together. Now what I'm doing here by the way so I'm just using the Yamaha app, it's called Yamaha Smart Pianist, it's a free app that Yamaha uses with lots of their products and what it does is it accesses the um, facilities and the, the functions that are available within this piano, such as that metronome with the rhythms. You can also select them by the way using the screen at the side, I think it just makes it a bit easier up here, but also you can extract some functions like see songs on screen and see the music, which I'll come to shortly. But let's just go back to one of our piano sounds. So let's say I pick that Boysendorfer. We could layer sounds together. So for example, I just simply press the layer button. I can pick a sound. And in this case, it's already set to strings, but I can adjust that to whatever I want and balance it however I like. <laughs> You can also split the keyboard, so you can split it anywhere that you like. It shows you on screen there where that split is, but you can change it. And you can have a, a, any sound down here, such as that bass, and maybe a piano, and you can get like this. So you could have the split and the layer. So that's a great feature that you may want to use. Make sure you know add a bit more excitement to your playing. You could also record that in, play it back, and it can show you the notation up on screen and you can create either your own backing track or do a duet with yourself or just simply record yourself and play it back and see how you're doing or record something in slowly and play it back fast so you see how it should sound later on. So we could have a look at some of the other sounds so for example we've got a lovely DX electric piano like this. <laughs> Uh, we can press this again, let's say we go to say our string, we could have a slow string like this. <laughs>
in different categories there. Can you see? I don't know if you can see that, but it says like piano. Forte pianos are basically pianos that are made in the style of the composer in the year that they made this tunes. So for example, this is a Mozart piano. <laughs> Recorded, but what it does, it gives you an idea of a bit of history and when they've been recording and making their songs, not recording, but when they've been making their songs and writing them, this is the type of piano they've written them on. God, how they improved after that. It became so much better. Don't suppose they were progressing from harpsichord to piano in the day. But anyway, that's another story. Meanwhile, we move on. We can have some brilliant organ sounds. <laughs> call a tremolo on your pedal so press, press, press the left hand pedal down and it gives you a slow wave piano sound like this. Now this time what I'll do is I'll just move on to show you the song feature. So basically you press this little button here and then you can press song there, hopefully you can see that. And then you press song up here and then you can pick one of your songs that you'd like to play. So if I press let's say Jesus Joy of Man's Desiring there, what it'll do now is it'll load that song information into here and I've, I can have it playing the full song, showing me the music up on screen and showing me where to play it and when to play and play with it at the same time or I can speed it up, I can slow it down, I can change the key and I can have it uh, doing the left hand while I'm learning the right hand or the right hand while I'm doing the left hand. And if I think, well, hang on, I, I find it difficult without a metronome. I could stick a metronome on if I want, just by pressing that on. So I press that there. Oh, in this case, I've got a drum beat on. <laughs> you get the idea, so you could funk it up as well if you want to. But I can play over it. Or I can just let it play for me. And you get loads of those songs to choose from like that. Or. It can actually, I'll just stop that song from playing in just a second. It can actually read any sheet music. If you put it in as a PDF, it will read it and play it for you. So just to demonstrate that for you. Um, on here it's called a bonus song. So they've put something in for you just to show you that. Show you that. So if I press that one there, what that actually is when it comes on is a PDF sheet music that's been uploaded into the device and then the app will read it and it will play it for me. So if I press play and you can get it repeating sections and do all the things that we were just doing before so it's that's, that's, that's absolutely fantastic. Oh I've just nudged the on off button there. Sorry about that I've had it upside down. So so you can have it doing that music, you can have it playing for you, you can play yourself, uh, or you can have it doing your sheet music as well. Or you can record yourself playing and play it back. But let's just go back to this piano sound. I think it's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> and lovely tonal changes. It's just brilliant, it just feels like you're playing a grand piano. Uh, song 
sounds is you can have it where it will play audio songs for you as well. So if I go to our songs and we just go uh, back, I can find where the back button is. Come on, go back. God, it's made my fingers wet. <laughs> right, so what we can do is we can go to um, what we've got on here is some demo songs. Now, what these are, are if you have some audio songs built into your piano, into your, sorry, device. So basically any piece of music at all that you've downloaded and put in there, you can have it playing. This is all Bluetooth, so you don't have to have it wired in. Uh, if you want to wire it in to keep it charged, I suppose you could do that, but it'll just play this song for me now. It'll play it through the speaker system. You can adjust the volume. song of any music that I like that I've put into here. How fantastic is that? So the, I think this new Yamaha CLP 875 range is absolutely brilliant and we are proud to be a Yamaha agent for this piano. We'll deliver it to any UK mainland location within the price so that's absolutely fantastic. If you've got a part exchange let us know what it is and we may just take it off you as well. If you're looking anywhere else other than our website, there's a link there that'll take you straight to this to tell you more about it. The Yamaha CLP875, available from Rimmers Music and Rimmers Music stores and online right now. Go and get yours. I'll see you soon. Bye.